Hello, I'm your Rena Van Dyken, MD from Out of the Doldrums. Today, let's talk about the COVID-19, also known as the novel coronavirus. In case you haven't heard, there's a little bit of an outbreak. More importantly, let's talk strategy, how not to contract and spread the novel coronavirus. As of the date of this recording, which is February 26th, the virus has spread to 37 countries across the globe. There are 81,109 cases and 2,761 deaths reported worldwide. Most of these are happening in China, but that's slowly changing. Before you get all freaked out, let's take a step back and put all of this in perspective. Currently, the U.S. is going through a regular garden variety influenza epidemic this year. So far, there's been 250,000 hospitalizations and 14,000 deaths from the flu. Compare that to the measly 80,000 cases and 2,700 deaths from the COVID-19 worldwide. So, all in all, influenza has been making many, many more people sick and causing way more deaths compared to COVID-19 so far. Influenza and the novel coronavirus are like cousins. They're both in the family of coronaviruses. In case you were wondering, they were named coronaviruses because when you look under the microscope, the viruses have these little protrusions that resemble crowns. And since the people in the medical field like to name everything with a Latin flair, like from the Latin language, the Latin name for crown is corona. Another close relative of the novel coronavirus is the SARS virus, which is also a coronavirus. The DNA of COVID-19 and SARS are 75 to 80 percent identical. This novel coronavirus is super new. In fact, it's so new that there's no vaccine for it. Scientists are feverishly working on this, but we have nothing tangible yet. If you happen to be unfortunate enough to contract COVID-19, even the best medical care in the world has no cure for all this disease. You can be hospitalized with supportive care until hopefully your body rebounds from the infection. Otherwise, we don't have a medicine like an antiviral that would treat the disease or even lessen the symptoms of the disease. Because of this, we really should be doing everything we possibly can to prevent the spread of the COVID-19 virus. In this video, we will cover the basics to preventing virus contraction and transmission. We'll then talk about strategies you can use to boost your immune system and hopefully be more resistant to the virus. So, let's start with the basics. There's so many obvious things you can do to prevent getting the virus. Let's start with the first obvious one, hand washing. Wash your hands with soap and water every chance you get, 20 seconds minimum each hand washing. You never know what your hands are touching. And trust me, hands touch so many things on a day-to-day -day basis. Best to wash it all off and clean them up regularly. Normally, for microbiome health, I try to advise against using alcohol sanitizers. They have such an impact on our overall health and microbiome. But if regular soap and water are not available to you at the time you need to wash your hands, use an alcohol sanitizer rather than nothing at all. Number two, try not to touch your face. I know it sounds silly, but the main routes of virus transmission are through your mouth, nose, and eyes, otherwise known as your mucous membranes. Let's say your hands are moving around, touching things, and a virus particle gets on your finger. If you have a habit of touching your face, after that virus particles on your finger, that virus is just that much closer to accessing those mucous membranes and infecting you. Number three, practice sneezing etiquette. I know it sounds funny, but sneezing etiquette is a thing for both the sneezer and the sneeze receiver. For this video, I researched sneezing etiquette worldwide and it's quite amusing. Did you know that sneeze particles can travel a long distance? An average sneeze can travel about 20 feet. Also, which is a bit disconcerting, according to researchers at MIT, a sneeze can travel up to 100 miles per hour. So what does that mean for us? Well, if you're the sneezer, make sure you cover your sneeze. The best scenario would be to sneeze into a tissue that you have handy. If you have no tissue available, cough or sneeze into your upper sleeve or elbow. Please, please, please don't sneeze into your hands and then touch everything in sight. That second only to the worst thing, which is sneezing without any cover at all if you happen to cough or sneeze. If you sneeze into a tissue, make sure you dispose of the tissue that you sneezed into as soon as possible and always wash your hands afterwards. Number four, clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces using a regular household cleaning spray or a wipe. 
The COVID-19 has been known to stay alive on surfaces for days, so making sure you keep the regularly touched surfaces clean and disinfected will decrease the number of virus particles hanging around and waiting to infect you. Number five, avoid close contact with those who are sick. That one's self-explanatory. Number six, avoid large crowds or gatherings where there will be large groups of people. Avoiding large crowds, public gatherings, or unnecessary contact with others will help keep the spread of the flu virus and the novel COVID virus under control. Number seven, if you start feeling sick, please, please stay at home. Don't be a hero, don't go to work. If you really wanna work that bad, see if you can work from home. This goes for children as well. If they're feeling ill, keep them out of school. The less you go out and about, the less likely you will spread or contract illness. Okay, now that we've talked about the practical things to decrease and limit infection and the spread of coronavirus, join us in the next video where we talk about ways you can boost your immune system so that you're more resistant to exposure if that were to occur. I hope you learned some new tips to help you become less susceptible to contracting the novel coronavirus. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna show us some real support, subscribe. We love hearing from you, so please comment down below with other topics you would like to hear about. Until then, stay healthy and well, and aloha.